Hey everyone, Dan here. And if you uh, watched last night's Pop Go the Writers, you know we uh, mentioned that uh, we should be getting a trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings soon. Well, it turns out that was this morning. Yep, woke up this morning and there was already a, video, a trailer out there, a two-minute long trailer, so it's a good, good size trailer. And we get our first look at this exciting new character that's going to be popping up in the MCU. Now, if you're wondering where this fits, before we get started, where this fits into the timeline, from what I understand, this is going to take place, it's going to be kind of a historical thing where we're going to get a lot of past information stuff, something that goes back to ancient times, but it's also supposed to cover the area between the snap and the blip, or the snap and the return, so... It should be kind of modern, you know, up to date with the modern uh, MCU, but not 100% sure yet. It's supposed to, you know, come, but the Mandarin, who's the main villain in this, is supposed to have been around for all of the MCU. So we'll see how that works out, or at least all since Tony Stark uh, was created. Because, of course, the Ten Rings were first introduced in the very first Marvel mo MCU movie of Iron Man. He uh, was captured by the Ten Rings. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer and we'll break it down as we go. Now I'm going to put it up bigger on the screen here and I'll break into it and make points. First start off, we see uh, Samu Lu. Lu. I, I apologize if I'm going to be bad on these names. I'm not that familiar with these actors. But uh, Samu Lu is playing Shang-Chi, who, as we can tell, got trained by his father, who we see in the image right now. That's his father, played by um, Tony Chi Wao Lung, who's playing Wen Wu, we also know is the Mandarin in this. The person with the mask and the hood on is known as Death Dealer. We don't know who's supposed to be playing them, but I have an idea I'll share at the end of this. And this is supposed to be the young uh, um, Shang-Chi training there. In the clips earlier, we see him and uh, a female, that's Aquafina's character, uh, Katie, which is his best friend. So he spent his whole life training, and then he either ran away or left and has spent 10 years just trying to be a normal person, not the son of a gang lord. I want to stop it there real quick and see if I can get back to that shot right there. Okay. Now, if you'll look on his wrists, on the on uh, Wen Wu's wrists, those are the Ten Rings. Now, in the Marvel Universe, they're actual rings you put on your finger, and they're a uh, a set of Ten Rings with mo all each have a uh, unique ability, like lightning, uh, lightning and fire and uh, mind control, and each one of them. Um, can function individually or in you know, unison with the others. And that's where the Mandarin gets his powers from, those ten rings. Now, again, there are finger rings in the Marvel Universe here. He gets them on his wrist, which I think is a nice touch. Um, they're kind of like a bit Infinity Stone-ish in that they all have unique powers and stuff, but these aren't on the Infinity Stone level. And if they go with the comic lore... The rings were created by an alien race of dragons. Yeah, I said that. An alien race of dragons. So, But these are the ten rings, and we'll see them in action a little more in the trailer. My shadow. I trained you. To the most dangerous people in the world. Kill you. Son. It's time to 
time for you to take your place by my side. Yeah, so that's the basic plot right there. This is the son of this powerful warlord with these uh, powerful wristbands. And he's tried to go off and live his own life. But now his dad wants him to come back and take his place running the empire. Uh, there's a lot of mystical aspect to this. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to play off the, the dragon connection. I know there's some footage where we actually see a dragon flying about. Also, Foo Dogs, the Guardian Temples. And this is all, you know, some of it's going to take place back in uh, feudal Japan or feudal China. Some of this going to take place uh, in modern day. It's going to be a really fascinating story. And this is like a true origin story where we haven't had one of those in the MCU since Doctor Strange, maybe. So it'd be interesting to see another origin story, especially of a character that a lot of people don't know. And his true origin has never really been put out there. I mean, there's a lot of connections and stuff in the comics, but they've tried to wipe away a lot of that because um, the character is tied to a problematic Pulp Fiction character named Dr. Fu Manchu, which Marvel had gotten the rights to in the 70s, and they tied him into this character that they made. And... Um, now they're trying to pull that away because it's a lot of really touchy racist stuff in the early days of Shang-Chi. So they're trying to straighten all that out, change who his father is, where his father's Dr. Fu Manchu in the comics. Here it's going to be the Mandarin, which also I think makes it a lot neater, pulls it together nicely with the Marvel stuff. Because, yes, we were introduced to the Mandarin. We were introduced to the Ten Rings and the first Iron Man. We were introduced to the actual... Well, believed Mandarin in Iron Man 3 when it was actually Ben Kingsley's actor Trevor Slattery pretending to be him or uh, Aldrich Killian played by Guy Pierce, claiming to be using the name and have a creation of his. And then of course in the uh, Marvel one shot, All Hail the King, we found out, nope, the Mandarin's real and he's not happy with Trevor Slattery. So this is uh, the follow-up to that in a lot of ways. Okay, this character here. Let's see if we get a better pause on there. Okay, the character in the white looks like a younger version of, or, you know, a version of the Mandarin. So it looks like the Mandarin is fighting this character here. Now, we believe this character is Jang Li, played by Fala Chen. And it could be Marvel's interpretation of the character, um, the Cursed Lotus, who also wears green in the comics and stuff like that. So it could be that character. We're not 100% sure, but I think it's a pretty good guess there that if they bring that character in. Food dogs. All right, that there is uh, the actress's name is Menger Zhang Zhang, and she's playing Zhe Ling, Fu Manchu, uh, not Fu Manchu, damn, Shang Chi's sister and uh, the Mandarin's daughter. And they're forced to fight for some reason. So that's what we're picking up from this trailer. But uh, I believe she's supposed to end up helping him at some point. But I don't know if that character is in the comics or not. It could be something new. And this may not surprise you, but this gentleman's name is Razor Fist. He's an actual comic villain. Uh, though in the comics, it's... Both hands are razor fists, which would make life very difficult, wouldn't it? Just so many things you wouldn't be able to do if you had two large razors for fists, like go to the bathroom, have any kind of romantic relationship, 
open doors. Just it would be a very difficult life. So this is Razor Fist. He's being played by uh, Florian. Oh wow, that's a tough last name. Montano. Mon. Yeah, let's go with Montano. Florian Montano. Uh, and he's, you know, I love this scene because they're taking it's taking place on a bus, and we feel like it's almost speed for Marvel MCU because Aquafina ends up driving the bus, or Katie. Now, that character there, Aquafina, knows who he is in the sense that that's her friend. What she's saying there is, who are you? Where did all this come from, this ability? So I think that's how they're going to play it. Okay, I do like that. Um, I I'm not that familiar with Aquafina, but that looked funny to me. She looks like she's going to be a fun character. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's bring that down. So, what do we need to know about this? Simulu from uh, Kim's Convenience and a bunch of other stuff is playing Shang Chi. Uh, Aquafina, Ronnie Chang. And Michelle Yeoh from Crazy Rich Aliens is all in this. Michelle Yeoh is supposed to be playing Janang uh, Janang Nan, but we never see her in the trailer. Um, Ronnie Chang is playing John John, who I think is his other friend, and of course Aquafina is playing Katie. Um, we mentioned that uh, Wen Wu or the Mandarin is being played by Tony Chiu Wai Leung. I'm I apologize again for these names because I'm not, I don't know the actual pronunciations that well. And again, her sister, his sister, uh, Zay, Zay Ling, is being played by Menger Zong, and Fala Chen is playing Jiang Li. That's the casting we know about. Now, the fact, and it's being directed by uh, Destin Daniel Creighton, who um, uh, did The Glass House. And this is, of course, Marvel's first Asian protagonist. This is, this is definitely moving forward in the direction they seem to be going. We got, you know, Captain America is, or the Falcon is on the verge of becoming Captain America. They're definitely diversifying their lineup, which is great. Um, now, interesting thing that Michelle Yeoh's listed in that she is now only the second character to pull double duty in the MCU. She played Alita Og Ogord, in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, one of the original uh, Ravagers or original Guardians. Uh, the only other person to do that so far is Gemma Chan, who played Cap uh, oh, Minerva in Captain Marvel, and then she's also uh, in the upcoming The Eternals. Now, this will be, the again, this will be the first real appearance of the Mandarin, even though we got him in all that other stuff, so... I think if you look, according to fans, or at least in fans' opinion, the fake Mandarin thing, which was an interesting bait-and-switch, didn't make fans happy. There's been a cry for the actual Mandarin, who is probably the biggest um, Iron Man villain. But I, I think that there is, again, with a lot of the Asian characters created in the 70s, some problematic things. So putting him the way they are here in Shang-Chi makes more sense. Um, I don't know if they'll use the name Mandarin at all, if not much, but, um, you know, they're giving him the name Wen Wu. Uh, what's Andrew say here? Just, just saw a pick of Marvel Legends Katie figure for the first time. Apparently Targus dressed armed for combat. Wow, I wouldn't have saw that coming. I kind of thought she was just going to be uh, just going to be the buddy. So, hmm. 
I wonder what that's going to be. Well, I do have a theory that um, we see the de Death Dealer character, the the one that's training him when he's younger, and he's got the mask. She's got, he's got the mask on, and a couple times when we see them fighting, the silhouette of Death Dealer makes me think it's female. Makes me think that it's a female in the costume. In which case, I'm thinking Michelle Yeoh, who we don't see in the trailer, but we know she's in the movie, who is a more mature actress, so a character that's been around a while. Maybe Death Dealer is that, but uh, Aquafina, that one surprises me if they've got a... You and your toys, Andrew. You and your toys. Uh, <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with the character of Shang-Chi... He was created by Steve Englehart, and the first artist on it was Jim Starlin, though Paul Gullacy is probably better known for developing more of the character and giving him more of a Bruce Lee look. And he was created in 1973 in the pages of Special Marvel Edition number 15. But the reason he was created is in 1972, Marvel went out and tried to get the rights to that do comics based off of the Kung Fu TV series that was really popular. And they were denied. So they decided, well, if to hell with it, we'll just make one of our own. And, and that was the era where they were looking at films and TV and seeing what was popular. So you get Shang-Chi is kind of the Bruce Lee. You get Iron Fist is kind of um, Chuck Norris-ish. Uh, you get... Um, Luke Cage, which is kind of a black exploitation thing, you get all these types of characters because that was, was popular in the 70s. Um, so this is where it comes from. Uh, but also at the time, Marvel had uh, acquired the rights to Sax Romer's creation of Dr. Fu Manchu, which was a series of pulp novels and they got the character and all his his uh, supporting cast, and they decided to work that into the Shang Chi series, um, where some of the, the supporting characters are fine, but Fu Manchu is just such a negative stereotype and racist thing that they kind of danced away from it since then. So he's part of the origin of the character. But since, so I think I think Marvel's doing a great job here going, yeah, we're not even going to address, we're just putting that all the way over there, just go away, and we're going to do this, and you guys want the Mandarin, so we're going to bring the Mandarin in, we're going to go back to the Ten Rings, and that, you know, maybe the Ten Rings are a new MacGuffin for the MCU, maybe not, I don't know, but I like the fact that they're not actual rings that they're gaunt, they're wristbands, and they turn into a gauntlet. They're almost like you know friendship bracelets. Yeah, they're friendship bra bracelets with alien dragons. Think we can make that one work? Yeah. Plus, you get the scene of the Mandarin walking around with rolled up sleeves to show it off, and it suddenly looks like he's walking out of a Miami Vice episode. You know, the suit coat pushed up on the sleeves. Yeah. So. All right, so that's that's the trailer. Um, we see some different villains in there. Like I said, Razor Fist. We get uh, maybe the cursed uh, Lotus, the cursed Lotus, uh, Death Dealer. So there's a lot of different characters from the fight. Um, but my big question is, why drop this today? September. You know, that's still kind of a few months away. Um, they could have waited till July. I mean, yeah, we're going to have this dead zone for Marvel between next week when uh, Falcon Winter Soldier ends and then June when Loki starts and Star Wars will be getting the attention for the Bad Batch. Uh, though, but, though it being animated, so there may not be that much attention to Disney+. Plus. It'll be interesting to see how that works out. But why drop this today? And... A possible theory, and why I brought it up last night during Pop with uh, Andrew and Paul's story, is 
what if the, the big question out there is the power broker that we have not met? And what if it ties into Shang-Chi? What if the power broker is part of the Ten Rings? Or what if it's Wen Wu? You know, maybe that's who we meet this week. And we find out that, you know, that Tony, uh, Tony Chiwa Lung is, is the power broker, but he's also, you know, he's Wen Wu. He's the Mandarin. Um, that would be interesting. And, you know, you'd be a little more prepared for it having seen Shang-Chi. Now, so that could be why they dropped it this week. It could be they want to, you know, roll off of the popularity of Falcon and Winter Soldier. It could simply be because today is Simu Liu's 31st birthday. So, hey, look, our star is having a birthday today. Let's drop the trailer. The point is, we don't know. It could be any of those things. Um, I think it's a great trailer. I think... Uh, if it wasn't for the Marvel logo, you could have dropped this and a lot of people would have had no idea this was a Marvel movie. It doesn't feel like a Marvel movie. Um, and, and it's not, I, I don't necessarily think it's supposed to. I think it's supposed to be a, a Kung Fu movie or it's a, a fight movie, you know? I'm not sure what the current, you know, but what the, the proper terminology is for this type of film at this point. But you know, it's a martial arts film. It feels like a martial arts film, and I like it. I think it's uh, gonna, I think it's going to do well. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. The, the, probably more so than uh, I'm, I, I put Black Widow first just because I'm really familiar with the character. I want to see what they're doing. I like Red Guardian. I'll put Shang Chi second. The new Spider-Man movie third, and then the Eternals fourth. The Eternals is the one that I'm not that excited about, but then we haven't seen anything from it yet. Shang Chi, we now see stuff, so we can start getting excited for it. Um, I, I think, I think the fights look incredible. I can't wait to see them on the big screen. This is definitely a big screen movie. This, you know, so September it comes out September third, and I will be in the theater watching it. Just big eyes, watching Razor Fist. I really hope there's a line about how Razor Fist goes to the path, but he's only got one, so he'll be, he'll be fine. Um, <laughs> I'm vamping now. All right, guys, I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, any other questions you guys have? Let me know. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, and that's pretty much it. Join me tomorrow night on the uh, comic book shopping experience for uh, this in stores this week with Kyle Northrup and myself. And then I'll be back Thursday night right here for the pre-show for the final episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, that one's going to be a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll talk soon. Have a great day.